Oh my god. Emu farm. <laughs> G'day smoking dagger fans. Today we're doing emu eggs on the barbecue. That's right. We're not cooking, you know, an actual emu egg. What we're doing is taking the barbecue armadillo egg recipe you may have heard about, and we're gonna make it completely Aussie. We're gonna put some pancetta, some nice rich green sauce on top, sprinkle a little bit of charcoal. It's gonna look something like one of these big bastards. That's right, an emu egg. Check it out. Grab a sharp knife and just give it a quick hone. Gonna take this thick pinyo, chuck the ugly end off this side, then get a spoon, go to the flat side, just work your way around the skin of the jalapeno. Be sure to take all the flesh out and as many seeds as you can. This will help anyone eating the dish that's a little bit tolerant to a bit of spice. Now we've got it completely hollowed out, we'll be putting those on one side. And you can see in front of us, we've gone for the sausages here with cheese and jalapeno filling. This will complement the rest of the flavors in the emu egg. So we're going to split the casing by running a sharp knife through the middle. Pull the casing aside and separate the mince out of the sausage. This will honestly save you so much time and hassle in making and preparing your own mince. Now get your cream cheese out of the wrapper. Place it in the bowl. Add some shredded cheddar on top. And add just a little bit of barbecue seasoning. We're going for a chicken rub here. Mix it all together and this will be your cream cheese filling. Now taking those hollowed out jalapenos you prepared earlier, we're going to want to stuff this with the cream cheese. And at this point you pretty much made jalapeno poppers. With our stuffed jalapeno, we're gonna wrap it in its casing and then eggify this bad boy. Now this does use quite a lot of mince, so you may think, oh, eight sausages, that's way too much to get a couple of emu eggs out there, but you really do go through it. When you finish shaping and molding it, you're gonna wanna get your pancetta and wrap this bad boy up. You can see we've already gone ahead and wrapped the first three here. I'm trying to keep them the same size, we're using about three or four slices of pancetta on each egg. These ones are ready for the smoker now. Easy as that. Over in the barbecue, we've got it preheated to 140 degrees Celsius. And we made a little cheeky jalapeno popper treat on the side there. All four emu eggs are now enclosed, ready to cook. Back inside, we're preparing our green sauce by chopping up some garlic and ginger, getting some olive oil on the heat, then we're gonna put that garlic and ginger mix in, get it sizzling and brown. Chop the rest of your peppers here. Now at this point you can remove the seeds if you don't want a spicy sauce. We're gonna keep the seeds in there, yellow. 20 peppers all sliced up. We're gonna salt and pepper on our ginger and garlic mix. Then add in those peppers. Once mixed all in the blender, you're going to want to add half a cup of white vinegar here. This will neutralize some of the acidic heat in the jalapenos. Over to the blender. Now give it a whirl. We're going to want to blend this very fine into a thick paste. Back onto the heat with a bit more oil. And we're gonna to wanna to cook this off. In about 10, 15 minutes here will do. You're inside bathroom going in the toilet, mate. Fuck it off. Now we'll add one tablespoon of sugar, half a tablespoon of cumin, half a tablespoon of coriander seed. Blend all those ingredients together. Back over at the barbecue, let's see how we're cooking. Yeah, fantastic. Now we're ready to prep this by adding a little bit of barbecue sauce on the end. This is what's going to give it its signature emu green colouring. Just use a paintbrush or your hands. Finishing it off with a nice little bit of activated charcoal powder. This will give us those speckles that you look at when you see an emu egg on Google Images. Oh yeah. Emu. That emu egg. 
a meat package about as big as your fist. Let's give it a slice, see how it looks on the middle. Glorious. So just like an armadillo egg, but a little Aussie. Well, we're two hours done here and we've got half of an emu egg right in front of me and I can say that this thing has probably exceeded our cooking expectations. When you describe something like an emu egg to someone it doesn't exactly strike as an appealing barbecue dish, definitely not traditional conformist and that's exactly what we've produced here. It's something completely different. I'm really looking forward to trying the taste profile and just how that smoke has changed. The sausage mince, jalapeno cheese cream filling into something really special. So bottoms up guys. Or legs up, as the emus would say. Mm. It's got that excellent salty from the pancetta. It's taken on almost bulking elements with the cheddar cheese, pancetta, beef mince. I'll tell you, this emu egg cook up is guaranteed to raise a few eyebrows, fill a few bellies, because it is a delicious barbecue snack. Not hard to make, as you've seen today. Do yourself a favor and get cooking on this one uh, for yourself and let us know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, guys, enjoy.